I don't care what you think about that Nintendo Direct or what you think about the games that are coming later in 2024. Y'all, we just saw Metroid Prime 4 gameplay and you're about to witness it again right here for the very first time. Metroid Prime 4 is real. Metroid Prime 4 is coming soon and Metroid Prime 4 looks like the biggest, boldest, most impressive title Nintendo has ever, ever attempted. So what's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hit that like button if this looks sick to you. Dude, first off, can we take a moment to just acknowledge that Nintendo has not shown Metroid Prime 4 ever. And the first time we see it, they're into gameplay within 30 seconds. How many games do you know that just do a cutscene, a CG? It's just like a mood setter, right? It's a tone piece. It doesn't actually even look like the game. Nintendo's like, nah, we're going to drop you right in. And look at this, okay? Look at all the effects. There's smoke in the, the mid-ground. There's fire in the foreground. You got laser beams and clouds and storms in the background. Nintendo has never attempted to do something like this. Lasers flying from the sky, a clean UI. Is this Halo? Is this a team that's worked on AAA huge, crazy story single-player games for years? You've got sparks flying, rocks flying, debris, fire. Even the ground is a little bit on fire here. This is insane. We've got so much going on, right? You're fighting these guys in the foreground. While in the background, we have a giant capital ship blowing up the terrain. We've got a huge sun explosion off in the distance. It, it looks ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. You've got a big battle. Other dudes are fighting other dudes. What Nintendo game does this? For some who say that Nintendo makes baby games or Nintendo makes games, you know, how they used to be, but we don't need that anymore. This is a modern game. This is Nintendo taking their game design and going super modern, ultra modern, hyper modern, Destiny, Halo, Doom, call it what you want. This is so dynamic. When Mario Odyssey is played, it's a great game. It's an amazing game. I think it holds up so well to this day. It's Mario in the center of the screen. A little bit's happening. Maybe someone's playing a saxophone. Maybe someone's running in a circle. This is unheard of. This reminds me of like seeing Destiny. Look, look at that. When does Nintendo ever do this? Have you ever seen Nintendo? I mean, let's watch this sequence. I'm just going to let this sequence play out here, okay? So look, Samus is coming in. The freaking anti-air is getting taken out by a giant beam. Samus is firing. This capital ship is firing in the background. Somebody's dropping down pods. A ship is flying in overhead. There's huge explosions. There's sparks flying. There's fire. This is a Switch game too. Like, yes, it's probably going to be cross-gen, but this will come out on Switch, and holy freaking crap. They did a miracle with Metroid Prime Remastered, and this looks notably better and infinitely more dynamic. Watch this sequence again. This ship is going to fly overhead as bombs are dropping, as there's smoke firing, as multiple enemies are duking it out with each other, as you're duking it out with it. I mean, like, come on. This is incredible. Our first look at Metroid Prime 4, and they don't do the typical thing, right? A lot of games would be like, okay... Let's slow roll the character intro. Samus wakes up in her ship. She says hi to her little droid. You know, she drinks a apple juice. I don't know. No, they're like, dude, let's get into a crazy, crazy scenario. We're going to do a little bit of scanning, but we're going to show combat. We're going to show space pirates. We're going to show Silux. That's coming. And again, even stuff like this, right? Like watch when she blows the grade off, okay? This is not Nintendo. Boom. Okay. It doesn't just disintegrate, it flies at the camera, and there's effects on everything. Look at that. Sparks flying, debris flying, okay? There's environmental destruction. We instantly go to Morph Ball, we roll through. Look, these guys are living out their own scene down there. This really feels like AAA game development done by Nintendo. Look at this sequence. What is this, Star Wars? Huge explosion. Guys are firing. Pods are dropping down. And Samus is just game playing the whole way through. Again, look at the difference here of the lighting, okay? You've got this very bright light out here. You've got this huge fire flame in the top right. You've got a more dark, murky skybox coming out of the moon roof. And then you have the interior as well. And look at, like, the detail on the steps. Look at the detail on the lighting illuminating this walkway. Are you kidding me right now? This alone is just a insane upgrade for Nintendo. They've never done anything quite like this. They've never done anything quite like this. Oh, the Direct also gave you a new Zelda with playable Zelda, a new Mario and Luigi game where the franchise was supposed to be dead, and it gave you a new Mario Party that looks like maybe it's the best Mario Party ever, Ace and Turret, any investigations, and uh, Perfect Dark on your NSO. Oh, sorry, forget about that. This alone 
this is direct defining. This is year defining. This might even be console defining. This is going to be one of the most incredible games Nintendo has ever released. And we got to see gameplay. The logo to me looks a little bizarre. Looks like a big eyeball. But I do like the Beyond title. Giving me a little bit of Buzz Lightyear vibes, but that's okay. Switch logo is great. Will this be on Nintendo Switch 2 as well? Yes. Will this be on Switch 1? Yes. We've got some Pandora looking environments here. Like the cutscenes. Look at the water. I mean, this is just so darn good. You got birds flying, all sorts of steam. You got a huge amount. And like, look, look over there. Look at that bridge. Look at the, the detail. Look at the, uh, the rendering off in the distance. Look at the scope of this world. They're clearly setting up a massive world with different planets, different locales. Clearly, this place right here, this like very na natural, nature-filled, avatars type place, uh, very different from this sad moon where like space pirates are just duking it out with each other. Silex is dropping in to say, Samus, hello, I haven't seen you in a long time. Hope you've brushed up on your skills. Hope you don't get Metroided at the beginning of the game. Oops, you will. The UI looks very nice. The scanning is feels quick enough to me. Feels pretty quick. Looks really good. Font treatment where it needs to be. Look at this UI. Look how the UI pops down and drops up. You got a nice mini map up there. Very minimalistic, but looking very good. I think this game looks incredible. I think this is Nintendo doing a single player big AAA type game in a huge way. I didn't even notice that the first time. Look, okay. So she comes through here and we see, look, not, okay. So you got the big battle. You got the door explosion. This faction is pushing in, but look, these guys are also, there's some people in the background wheeling something out on like a, a vehicle. Look at that. They're like driving away. You can see debris flying everywhere. You've got these guys firing and I'm just like, Okay, again, even a small detail here. Look at the way that the shield on the door here, the little, like, hexagons are glistening as Silex drops in, as Samus fights, and you've got this dynamic nature where they are paying attention to a level of detail that Nintendo normally saves for the gameplay, but skips on the graphics. This is a visual feast. This is a masterpiece in how to do a game intro, and it's gameplay, again, Remember the Xbox Showcase, remember the State of Play, remember Summer Game Fest, how many games just went straight to gameplay for the first time. Not if it's an updated look, not if it's a DLC, not if it's a, you know, a yearly 2.0. I'm talking about the first reveal of a trailer. How many went straight to gameplay? We get Nintendo, which takes a few seconds. We get Cosmic Year 20X9, and then literally, okay, so here's where, here's where the trailer really starts in my opinion. It's 16, 15 seconds. And then you've got two seconds, four seconds. Six seconds, eight seconds. Samus jumps in, 10 seconds, 11 seconds, 12 seconds, 13 seconds, 14. And within 15 seconds, we are transitioning into first person gameplay with a beautiful transition and with a world that does not change. Look at that, okay? Samus sees the anti-air, she sees the fire, she sees the smoke, she sees the rocks, the debris on the ground. It don't change. The graphics stay the same. The in-engine is actually in-engine instead of being a fake in-engine. This Metroid Prime 4 gameplay is one of the best reveals Nintendo has ever done, and I feel like it's being glossed over because it's a 2025 title. And because, I guess for some reason, people expected to see gameplay, they didn't have to show us gameplay. They could have gone out and just said, here's Metroid Prime 4, here's a cutscene. You know, we could have seen Silux versus uh, Samus. You know, they could have had some some mood-setting things of the, the nature-y as Avatar planet. Instead... This is just incredible. This is a wow moment. And this is the one more thing. This is not the games that we're getting already. This isn't just like, oh, a single trailer. This was the one more thing in addition to everything else they showed that was innovative, creative, and looked like a step up. Mario Party's a step up. Mario and Luigi's a step up. Zelda 2D, honestly, brand new for the first time in since Link Between Worlds in over a decade, or about a decade, incredible. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond takes Nintendo to the Beyond place. For them, this is a foray into uncharted waters, uncharted territory, and a new type of game design that I think is going to absolutely show Nintendo can blossom and do Mario, but also do this. If Nintendo can do this, like a Halo or like a Destiny, and they can do Mario, game over. I mean, it's already game over because we know Nintendo cares about exclusives more than everybody else, but look at this. Look at the... the the fire coming out of her, her jets as her ship lands. Look at how she emerges with the light there. You got all sorts of different light. I mean, this is, the art design is in, impeccable. Debris as Samus jumps. 
you might not think this is a step up, but go back and watch the trailers for Metroid Other M, for Metroid Prime. Dude, the visual achievement here on Nintendo Switch is insane and out of this world. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond is going to be a game for the ages. It's probably coming early 2025. It's probably cross-gen, but you can play it on your Switch. You don't even need to buy a new console for this. It's amazing. I'm floored. I think Nintendo killed it. I think Retro Studios dominated it. I think all the years of waiting were worth it. I think Metroid Prime 4 Beyond looks like it could be one of the most impressive, incredible, and out of the ordinary Nintendo titles of all time. Is it doing something weird where like Samus builds a hotel? No. But is it looking like a Halo game? Looking like something you wouldn't expect from Nintendo? Looking like a AAA title in a way that Nintendo isn't usually comfortable pursuing? Heck yes it is. Silex is back. Nintendo is here. The Switch graphics somehow got godly. And I love everything about Metroid Prime 4 Remastered. Give me your take in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you're excited for this game. I am absolutely smitten with it. I think this was the perfect reveal. And I think it looks absolutely miraculous. An achievement. An incredible vision. And an exciting anticipation as we wait for 2025. Let me know your take in the comments down below, everybody. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stealthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Love you lots. Switch Force. Out.